Good morning, everyone. Um, we're about to start. Um, I have the pleasure to introduce you to someone who I think has um, created one of the most impactful thing, things WordPress has seen in a very, very long time. Um, that someone is Adam Jelinski. Uh, he's the creator of WordPress Playground. Um, that is a zero setup WordPress tool that works in your browser. Uh, some of you will most likely already know. Um, Adam is also a core committer, so really uh, very intimately uh, familiar with WordPress itself. Uh, he was the tech editor release lead for WordPress 6.0. Um, he works at Automatic, when, and when he's not making WordPress better, he is actually an, if I say this correctly, an improv comedy, comedian. So let, let's hope he adds some of that to this presentation. Um, please welcome Adam to the stage. I was so frustrated with WordPress. It was about two years ago, and I, I was writing a technical tutorial for WordPress. And the tutorial came out great. Uh, I got great feedback from my developer colleagues. But then when it came time to publish it on WordPress.org, I got this feedback that before it goes out there to the people, I have to create a setup instructions lessons before anyone can start working on it. We need to have a pathway for them to go from zero, from no setup at all, to a working WordPress. And I thought it was the developer speaking in my mind. Yeah, that's easy. It's a few commands. But then I started actually looking it up. And oh, there was MySQL to install, PHP, Apache, Node.js, all these acronyms. And these things take hours to figure out. I've been through a bunch of contributor days. And I've seen so many people coming there without a WordPress setup, spending a couple of hours just trying to get it to work, to be able to start to contribute. And seven hours sometimes was not enough to do it. And I thought, that's, that was depressing for me, because I thought, no one is going to read my tutorial. And I just wanted people to have a very different experience. I wanted them to open that tutorial, go to that page, and have WordPress right there on the website without any setup steps, any installations, any requirements, just WordPress. Just start using it, just get your hands dirty, just play with it. Only that was impossible, right? I would need a cloud environment to set it up, uh, a bunch of computers somewhere that would give everyone their own custom WordPress. It would be difficult to maintain. It would cost money. It, would, it wouldn't be that practical. But then I thought, what if that's not impossible? What if you could actually have WordPress running fully in there, in that tutorial, in that web browser, without any setup whatsoever? And I started tinkering. Uh, and I was a team at the time that was called Tinker, so that was a good place to explore it. My lead at the time was quite preoccupied, so didn't mind. I disappeared for about two weeks. And uh, then I was looking at WordPress in my web browser. It mostly didn't work. I couldn't log into WP Admin, but it was there. And it was a promise of something much larger to come. That was about two years ago. Uh, I kept going and developing that project, uh, mostly on my own for the next year. Then open source contributor started coming in and helping with the development. And uh, as of a couple of months, I work at, work at Automatic. Uh, there's a team working on this project. It's called WordPress Playground. And I'm so excited to show you everything it can do for you in your day-to-day -day work. Playground is a complete paradigm shift. And it changes everything we know about WordPress and how we think about it. Most people uh, who've had contact with Playground, when they think Playground, they think about this website. And that's fair. When you go there, you can uh, install any plugin. You can install any theme, build a site. You can play with WordPress to your heart's content. But that website is not Playground. That website is just an application built on top of Playground. Playground is the technology that enables using WordPress on any device, 
in any context with a single click. Uh huh. Click. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, Playground is actually a cross platform WordPress that you can start building with even, oh, even this. So, you can, Playground allows you to embed WordPress in all the different contexts. This is a blog post on my blog. Uh, it's a tutorial about one of the new APIs in WordPress. And the, there's an HTML, uh, sorry, there's a PHP code snippet in it. That snippet is also Playground. Even though you don't see actual WordPress, even all, though all you see is code, this snippet is powered by Playground. And a cool thing about it is you can go to that blog post and you can start changing that code and running it, and oh, my phone is in an airplane mode, and it still works. It doesn't actually go to any server anywhere. It works on that phone. And that's, that's quite <laughs> exciting to me personally. <laughs> the website I showed you earlier, that's also Playground embedded on a website. So there is a browser UI, and there's an address bar, there are some settings for you to change PHP and WordPress versions. But all of that, that's just user interface to make Playground more useful in that specific context. This is an application called Block Notes. It is the first application ever. It's a native iOS app. It was available on the Apple App Store, and it runs WordPress on your device. This app uh, is meant to build notes. Uh, it, I think it was built by uh, Ella, sitting somewhere in here. And who knows? Once This is a very exploratory territory, these native apps. But once this workflow matures more, and we can do more with it, well, maybe we'll have a button on a Playground website that says, export my WordPress as a mobile app, or export my WordPress as a desktop app. There's, with more work, we would already be able to do that today. Like there, I don't see any technical blockers for that, which is pretty exciting. We just need more time spent there. About desktop apps, this app is called Studio. It's a local development environment for WordPress. You download it, you install it, and you can create multiple WordPress websites and build them and work with them on your ma machine and even host them from the app. And the cool part about it is that app also runs WordPress Playground. There are no virtual machines. There are no dockers. There are no long checklists of things that can go wrong or you have to install before you can use it. It's just there. You download it, you run it, there's WordPress. No dependencies at all. There are terminal apps that Playground can power. This one is called WP Now. It is WordPress in a single command. All you need is a, if you are a JavaScript developer and you have a node on your computer, Node.js, you can run a single command, and there's WordPress right there on your computer in your terminal. And you can build so many more applications uh, with Playground uh, in the terminal. Just on the contributor day yesterday, there was a person uh, integrating WordPress in a Next.js app, so completely different um, ecosystem, completely different like, set of tools. And yet, we could run WordPress in there. This uh, also leads us to another place where we can start integrating WordPress as an extension to existing ecosystem. So this is Visual Studio Code. It's a popular code editor. And we have WordPress running in there as an extension. And you don't have to install anything else on your computer. There's no downloads. There's no prerequisites. You just go to the extensions uh, marketplace. That's how it's called, but it's free. Uh, you install that extension, and there's WordPress on your computer. And you can start building themes and plugins with a click of a button. That's how easy it is with Playground. Mm -hmm. So Playground is WordPress everywhere. It's WordPress for the desktop apps, for the mobile apps, for terminal, even browser extensions. We're exploring one now. It's WordPress for live demos, for showcasing plugins and themes before people uh, pay money for them. They can play with them and try them out right there on the website with Playground. It's it's a completely new thing. <laughs> it's WordPress in all these different contexts. You could run it on your smart fridge if you wanted to. And 
there's so much more coming, and I'm about to tell you. But first, I'll take a quick detour and show you how it works. But before that, I need a sip of water. So normally, to run WordPress as a hosted software on the server, you need a few software components. There's Linux, the operating system that gives you access to all the devices inside the computer, like a hard drive and a memory and network card. There's Apache, which is the web server, and it allows you to, it communicates internet with WordPress. There's MySQL, the database, which allows WordPress to store all the data. And finally, there's the PHP, the programming language runtime uh, that WordPress is built in. And all these things together form what we call a tech stack. It's a LAMP tech stack. And so to run Playground, we need all these pieces. But we only have a web browser and some JavaScript, right? So how does it work? Well, we ship that entire tech stack in various forms in the browser. So instead of Linux, we have a bunch of JavaScript polyfills that pretend to be a file system or a memory allocator or, or all these low-level components. Uh, these are like three functions in a trench code, but it works beautifully well. Instead of a web server, we use JavaScript APIs. In a browser, we have something called a service worker that stands between the website and the internet. And this allows us to take all the traffic that would normally go to a server somewhere and then redirect it back to the browser where WordPress is running. Instead of MySQL, we use uh, another database called SQLite. It is a tiny, small, very fast database that works embedded inside a software. It's not a separate package. You have to install or figure out. And WordPress normally doesn't support that, but we've rebuilt the entire, like, there was a SQLite integration community plugin, standing for a long time, for Playground, we rebuilt that from, not from scratch, but we've done a substantial amount of work to make it compatible with all the different mm, places in WordPress. And in fact, most of the WordPress tests, the automated tests, actually pass on SQLite now. And finally, we have the, perhaps the most magical component of these all, which is PHP WebAssembly. Normal PHP is a mm, desktop software or server-side software. It's it doesn't run in web browsers. But there is this cool new technology called WebAssembly that allows us to bring what, what I'll call classical software, the software that runs on, on your computer directly in the operating system, the software that you typically have to install. It allows us to take this and run this inside a web browser or inside any place where we have a JavaScript environment. So that's a terminal app. That's a native app. That's a desktop app. That's your smart fridge. That's, heck, I wonder if that would run on a smartwatch. I haven't tried it, but I think I've seen someone running Playground on a Switch, Nintendo Switch. <laughs> and so goal of Playground is to bring one-to-one -one feature parity with WordPress. We're not quite there yet, but we're not far off also. We're, we're closer than, than I thought <laughs> when I reviewed that recently. And so th that was a quick detour into the tech details. All of that may, like, I try to keep the side, uh, slide very simple, all right, but I know there's a lot of technical talk in here and it may seem overwhelming. The good news is that to use Playground and to ev even to build with Playground, you don't have to know any of that. I'm just sharing that because I like you and I want you to have some insight into what's behind the scenes. But while building Playground, we're thinking about the user experience and developer experience and Heck, like we, <laughs> we try to do so much to make it very easy to use and build with. And so one of the ways to do it is called Blueprints. A Blueprint looks like this. It's a JSON file, and it contains the exact recipe for a WordPress site that runs in Playground. So you write a short file, and we're building an editor for that also, so you don't even have to write that. And it gives you, and Playground builds the entire WordPress site to your exact spec. This blueprint, it's very simple. It doesn't do much. It just installs the Hello Dolly plugin. But blueprints can be as simple as this. Or 
as involved as this. I don't actually expect you to read this, and it didn't even fit my entire screen, but I just want to, you to remember this one thing, that this blueprint, it installs a plugin, installs a theme, imports some content, run PHP, messes up with the directory structure, da 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 It can do all these different things, and it can set up any WordPress site. There's, there's no limit to what these blueprints can do. And so we also have, on this event, puzzle pieces uh, in sponsors' booth. I have one with me here. They are small artifacts about this size. And you can there's an app. There's an uh, app uh, on a website. You can scan QR code on the back of a puzzle to, uh, to get it. And then you scan these puzzles, and you get a WordPress site to this exact spec, to, to the exact puzzles you scan. So it installs plugins, creates pages, it installs themes, activates them. There's quite a lot. Like You can build quite an involved site with this. And all it does, all the app does, is it scans the puzzle, and it translates it into Blueprint steps. So, And there's some AI magic involved. Also, we can integrate Playground with AI. In a few minutes, we'll hear more about that. With Blueprints, we're launching this new, uh, oh, that's the wrong button, community space. Uh, it's a new thing that uh, there will be a QR code at the end of this with, with a bunch of more resources. With a Blueprints community space, it's a gallery of different Blueprints that you can, well, run in Playground. You can uh, mess with them. You can see how they're built. And you can also share your own. It's a very lean thing. We've launched on GitHub to get it out there uh, quicker. But it gives us all the collaboration workflows, right? So we can propose changes via pull request. You can review everything. There's a public list of that, Con author attribution. I highly encourage you, after this, to go have a look, play with them, and see how powerful Blueprints can be. And now, you just saw a few examples of uh, what Playground can do. And I'm, I'm going to show you a bunch more. Most of the things I'm about to show you, most of these apps, they are just blueprints. They're, they were built with these uh, Java, uh, JSON constructs. And so I'd like to inspire you all with the rest of this talk to get your hands dirty, try Playground, and create things with blueprints, without blueprints, built with Playground. So one of the things you can do is set up product demos. You can embed Playground on a website, give it a blueprint. Oh, I didn't say that. But when you have a blueprint, uh, the way to use it, you just copy it and you paste it in the URL. There is the Playground site, play, playgroundwordpress.net slash hash. You paste the blueprint, it does it. Like, that's all you have to do, which means you can share a, a link with someone. And so you can use Playground to show product demos of your plugin, of your theme, directly on your site with, by embedding Playground with that blueprint in the link. And how to embed a Playground? Well, there are two ways. One is more technical. You put an iframe tag. But if you don't want to play with code, well, we have something called the Playground block. So you can install it from the WordPress plugin directory. And it allows you to embed Playground on your site using a Gutenberg block. So just click it in the inserter, Boop. it's there on your site, just like that. And you can use any blueprint in there, and you can even add a code editor. That's another button. So you want to showcase things. You want to teach people about WordPress. You want to have live tutorials. Perfect. This blog can help you do that. And oh, if you don't want to install it, but you want to play with it first, well, guess what? There is a way to do that, because in the WordPress plugins directory, we now have this live preview button for plugin authors who created a blueprint to set up their plugin. So WordPress uh, Playground Block is one of these plugins. It has a blueprint that uh, well, creates a page, inserts a Playground Block on that page. It redirects you as the user there, and it looks just like that. So we are going meta here. We have a Playground Block previewed inside a Playground to showcase Playground to other people on your site. How cool is that? You can go many level, levels deep, and there's no end to 
possibilities here. Like somehow I'm sometimes I'm quite amazed, like way like this really works. But yes, yes, it does. <laughs> and so uh, with blueprints, I, I'm starting to think they are not actually recipes for WordPress sites, but they are apps in themselves. And what do I mean by that? Well, this here is a WordPress-based slide deck builder. So there's a blueprint uh, in a, one of the GitHub repos. And you click a link, you go there. And in there, you, can, you have a WordPress set up with a theme that looks like a slide deck. And you have a bunch of typical slides. So there's a title slide, slide with a picture, slide with a list. And you can customize them. You can save that website. You can keep working on it for a week. Like some, uh, Playground has this reputation of only being temporary, right? Like you close a browser tab and it's gone. Well, that's the default mode, but it's not how it has to work. There's a setting in there to save it in the browser or save it on your disk or export it and import it later on. Playground can be as temporary or as persistent as you need it. It's there for you. It's not there to be uh, quickly gone. And so with these slide decks, you go there, you get a WordPress uh, that's tailored to building slides. And you can build these slides. You can save them as a WordPress site. You can render them as a static site. So you can share a link to an HTML page on the internet that's just your slides. And that blueprint also adds this big button in there that says save as PDF. So we can actually build a real PDF slide deck for a conference with Playground. And I said you can export that as a static site. Well, we have a blueprint for that too. So you run it, and you get a zip file with a static version of your site. Now, Playground also enables you to collaborate on these things. So on the Playground website, Playground WordPress Net, we have this button that says, export pull request to GitHub. So we can load your playground from a disk. You can build it in there. Or you can load it from GitHub, because there's another button, import from GitHub. Then you can make some changes. And using this slide deck as an example, I created a pull request. So I uploaded an image, and I went through this pull request flow. And there, there we go. There is a pull request on GitHub with an image block in my WordPress content. And that image, that upload, it actually went through. So you can also upload media this way. And why that matters is WordPress uh, can now be this device to build pages without ever installing anything on your computer. You can just go to Playground. You can build the entire thing in there. And you can export it to GitHub. And you can do it all from your phone or a tablet. There's no requirement to have computer like, on any of these steps. And oh, what I'm showing you here like, in this little text, that's block markup from Gutenberg. And I've heard some people saying, well, that's sweet, but you know, everyone writes content in Markdown these days. Well, there's a thing coming for that too. So we'll be able to bring in any Markdown content. Is it a documentation? Is it a static site? I don't know. But it will come into Playground. You'll edit it. You'll export it as Markdown. And Playground will be just your device to work on this in a nice visual environment. We have a browser extension coming that will enable doing that right there without even going through these flows. You'll just click a button, and boop, it will pop into Playground, the Markdown thing. You'll edit it. It will come back to the place where you started editing in the first place. And so this site can be also like, rendered as a static site hosted, which means you can do WordPress sites as GitHub pages without a host. How cool is that, right? You can have all the content living in there, edit it, click a button, and oh, there's a static site on GitHub pages. I never went through uh, any registration flow, right? I never gave my credit card. It's just a static site. And by the way, you can pull pre uh, preview pull requests with changes to WordPress plugins and themes, even to the static sites, right? So someone proposes a change. And you can use Playground to see what that change looks like in the real world. And so we also use that in WordPress core for previewing all the changes and in Gutenberg. 
and in WooCommerce, and in a bunch of other plugins. There's all this new testing coming in just because that's easy. It's a press of a button. If you don't have to have expertise, pull changes, like use Terminal, Git, know any of these things. It's just a button. Boop. And there is a playground in a completely new tab with the change applied. And oh, all these things can be combined. So you can take a pull request and put a playground block on your site and preview that pull request in that playground block and just show the change to the world. And by the way, the preview, that's just a blueprint. It loads whatever, you, uh, whatever is in that PR in Playground. This also means you can build themes, block themes, using Playground. You go there in the browser, you build a theme, you export it to GitHub. That's it. <laughs> on the phone, on the go, on the tablet. There is no development environment whatsoever. You can build things in a very no-code way if you just you know, go to the site editor, move some stuff around, customize the styles. With Playground, that's all you need to know to col collaborate on that. And Playground is also, is also great for presentations and for classrooms and for teaching people about WordPress. Most of the screenshots I've shown you during this talk, they were taken in Playground. There was a workshop last year at WordCamp EU in Athens by Luis Eranth. Uh, it was about interactivity API. 70 people were in the room, and there was a single command Luis prepared to get everyone started. It installed WordPress through Playground. It set up the workshop materials. It started a dev server, all the watchers, blah, 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 the technical stuff you'd normally spend hours on. Boom. And it worked. And everyone was able to complete the workshop. Uh, there's a professor. Uh, that I know, who uses Playground uh, in, uh, in his classes. There's something with the university computers, like you cannot install software in there, but you can use websites. And Playground happens to be a website. So he can just direct the students to go there, complete an assignment, export it, or share it in a, uh, any other way, and then he reviews it. And that's, that's it, doesn't get easy, it doesn't get easier than that, does it? Uh, Playground can also be used to contribute to WordPress and, well, build apps, right? So this one is called Translate Life. It was built by Alex Kirk, who, he's my team lead as of Monday. Uh, and you can just go there, start translating things, and click a button, and that translation gets proposed to the WordPress translations directory. And by the way, it integrates with ChatGPT. So you put your open API key in there, and suddenly AI helps you translate. So yes, you can also integrate Playground with AI to build completely new assisted types of experiences with WordPress. And by the way, Playground also gives you this new site archival format. So there's a plugin called, well, I'll tell you in a minute what it's called. But if you install it, you go to WordPress Admin, Tools, Export, and then there's this new option called Playground Sandbox, uh, sorry? Playground snapshot. You download it, and there's your entire WordPress site, complete with all the files, plugins, themes, all the data, even. And that was never a part of WordPress core. And what we were building in Playground, I want that to eventually be merged into WordPress itself. So you'd, you would have a very easy option of moving your data around. And since all these things integrate with each other, well, this export also mm, is connected with a button. Uh, well, the plugin is called Sandbox Site. So install that plugin. You go to the plugins directory in WP Admin. And there, every, every plugin has a new button, Preview Now. That button exports your WordPress site. It imports it into Playground. It installs the plugin you want to preview in that Playground. And then you can see, oh, is this what I need? Is this useful on my website? Does it break anything? Does it create any unwanted menu items? If you like it, you can install it on your real site. If you don't like it, you close the tab, no harm done. Your production website is exactly as it was. This is WPCLI, a terminal tool that's often used with WordPress when developing. Only this one, it works in a web browser. So we have a WordPress, we have a terminal, and we have WPCLI loaded in there, all 
in a browser. Uh, huh. We also have development environments. I already touched on that. And mm, speaking about the future, in the future, all WordPress and Playground apps, they could exchange data with each other. They could synchronize in real time. We also have, uh, well, what I mean by that is we have a mobile application with Playground in it. Then you could have another application on desktop, a desktop app, or on a server. You create a note or a post on your phone, and then it just shows up on your desktop. So if we played these cards right, right, maybe in a few years, you would see a social network built with WordPress. Because what's a social network? It's a mobile app that's very easy to use, configured for you, that exchanges data with different people. It uh, gives you a content distribution. So that would be quite exciting. Maybe you can get there. And who knows uh, what else? Blueprints, these JSON things, they could be a part of native WordPress. So every host would have these features with template sites. Uh, you would be able to take all these things that are built in Playground and just create new sites with them, just like that, and load them into Playground, move them around. And so one thing I want you all to take away from this is start building your things with Playground. We're at a very cool moment in history. And also, the future of WordPress kind of depends on all of us, right? Uh, there is this completely new ways of thinking today. We have AI. We have technology to bring, play, uh, to bring software to all these different devices. And we'll see a lot of contenders to trying to be the unifying platform for the web. WordPress has a really good shot at this. But we have to act, and we have to build things, and we have to create that future. WordPress has a really good edge uh, in here. It has all the fantastic content management capabilities. It can be. Uh, it has revisions, it has users, it has the best community in the world, come on. <laughs> and it could be the thing that we use on all the devices to communicate, to own our data, to innovate. But this starts today with building new types of experiences, with bringing WordPress to all the new places. The future of WordPress is in our hands. So let's, let's do exciting stuff, and let's make WordPress persevere and be not just this thing of yesterday, websites, right? But let's bring it to all these mobile devices, to all these new places, to all these new apps, contexts, things. <laughs> Here's a bunch of resources at the QR code, and that's it. Thank you. Did Thank I you, Adam. Time? Um, like I said in the introduction, I think it's one of the most interesting and impactful things coming to WordPress in a long time. Um, we have time for some questions. There are two mics uh, to my right. If you could walk to the mic, please. If that's not possible, we can get you one. There's also a microphone over there. Uh, please, keep, uh, please introduce yourself and keep the question as short as you can. Uh, Lovar Krust from uh, Croatia. I used to see your name uh, when uh, browsing GitHub. Uh, <laughs> so uh, it's nice to meet you in person. Nice to meet you. And um, uh, I uh, built a plugin uh, for Gutenberg. It is now in the review process, which uh, uh, makes block pop up. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I tried to show showcase it on. Uh, Playground, but I uh, ran into a problem of uh, showing images mm -hmm. because I want it all to be packed inside a um, file mm -hmm. and not as external images on GitHub. Yeah. But I uh, <coughs> find a way to do it. <coughs> there, there is a way to do it. Uh, well, I'm not going to go through all the technical details right now. We can connect after this, but very briefly, you can use a blueprint to grab a file and put it in the bundle or in the zip file of the plugin that you want to install, for example, as a demo content. And th that's the big idea. It doesn't have to be external. And for all the details how to do that, I'm happy to connect in a few minutes and walk through that. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> we have one over here. 
You think that, oh, yeah. Hello, my hey. name is David, I'm from Poland. Thanks, Adam, for the, for the talk, it was great. Um, I have a question because you said it runs in the browser like most of the time, but also you said it can run like uh, command line yep. apps because it runs also with Node. Yes. Anywhere JavaScript is in there. I'm thinking it uh, would be uh, also useful to uh, use WordPress Playground as sort of like a GitHub action or some, something like this for CI CD and for automating stuff like testing uh, and building and stuff like this. Absolutely. And would, this, would there be something official like GitHub Action from the team? Yes. <laughs> uh, you can absolutely use it in GitHub Actions. Uh, one, uh, like the slides that uh, i shown, I have a repo and there's a GitHub Action that takes the content and builds a static site from it. It's automated. Uh, it's also possible to run tests with it. And there was a second part of your question that I forgot. I'm sorry. Would you repeat, please? Uh, yeah, I was asking: Would there be any official GitHub action oh, yeah. from WordPress team to help? And that's based on Playground. Uh, yes, I think the, that is coming. So, pull request previews are so useful, but now it takes a lot of work to figure that out on your own. So you have to make a comment, but only if there isn't one already. Update the link if it changes. Da 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 da. I want there to be an official action that you would just include, or maybe even a GitHub app, right, that you would install with a button. Wouldn't that be handy? Uh, so this is one that is coming. If you have an idea for a different type of integration, I would love to learn about that. And uh, yeah, who knows? Maybe okay, build that. You. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Over here. Uh, many thanks, Adam. Terry Kyle from WPX. Hello, Terry. Uh, I'm not a technical person, but um, do we even still need a normally hosted WordPress site with Playground anymore? <laughs> Such a good question. Uh, I think so, uh, but there's, there are different use cases, right? So if we have a static site and, you know, you cannot, for example, like if you have an e-commerce store and you want to have a stock and you want uh, people to, uh, you know, when they purchase something, it gets deducted from the stock and the order gets processed, you still need a server for that that's a dynamic interaction. Uh, maybe one day we'll get to a point where that will be handled all in Playground. But if you have a site that's all about mm, sharing content with people, so maybe podcasts, maybe articles, maybe posts, I, I like to think of a newspaper example, then yeah, that could exist all in Playground. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, over to the left, I think, who's next? Hi. I'm Antonio Sejas from WordPress.com. Hey, Antonio. And uh, my question is about the Blueprints Gallery. Mm -hmm. And I would like to know more about that, like how we can add those recipes to that directory, and if there is any plan to, to build a UI more uh, useful. My, yeah. Thank you for asking that. <laughs> uh, yes, so Blueprints Gallery is uh, the idea is the same as uh, WordPress plugins gallery on WordPress.org. For now, it's just a GitHub repository. Like We were very lean and wanted to get it out the door as quickly as possible. So it is a GitHub repo. And you can uh, contribute to that with a pull request. Uh, it's available at well, github.com slash WordPress slash blueprints. There is also a link on the uh, Playground page at the QR code. And yeah, there is a plan to build a UI. Right now, we're trying to figure out the best way to contribute. Uh, the best way to make this interesting for everyone. And once we figure that out, then we'll build a tailored UI to make it beautiful and accessible right there on WordPress.org. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Torsten? Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm Torsten from the German community. Um, hey, Torsten. <laughs> yesterday, we experienced a, a fatal error uh, on the site health uh, page uh, in SQLite in uh, Playground. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, um, I experienced uh, um, another uh, bug. Uh, you cannot install more locales if you want to check a patch uh, or a pull request, for example. And uh, if it's uh, language related and you can't install a mm -hmm. different locale, um, this is a problem. So there are bugs. Um, and you said uh, um, you're still checking if everything works. So where do you help, uh, where do you need help uh, the most? Uh, uh, from the community? What uh, should we check? Uh, um, what do you want from the community um, provided as an uh, issue or pull request? Thank you. <laughs> well, any 
thing that doesn't work as you expect, please, please, please report it. Tell us, a, and uh, there's a GitHub repository for Playground at uh, WordPress slash WordPress dash Playground. Uh, there's a Slack channel on WordPress.org, Slack, meta dash Playground. And like first and foremost, like all the reports, everything that doesn't work as expected, please tell us. That's extremely helpful. If you'd like to contribute and help us fix it, that's also, like that goes such a long way. And yes, there are still bugs. There are kinks. Uh, the two you, you've mentioned, like I know you already created a report for that, so thank you so much. Uh, well, we're not, as I said, we're not 100% there yet with a one-to-one -one WordPress uh, feature parity, but we're getting closer. There's, there are things in Playground that they're different than in regular WordPress. Like for installing translations, you have to download them from WordPress.org. And in the browsers, that works slightly differently than on the server. You have like policy, security, uh, there's a cross origin stuff like for the technical part of the audience. Uh, but to answer your question, please report. And if you feel adventurous, please help us fix it. We'd love to uh, help you and mm, help you be successful with that. So if Playground seems like this huge, uh, opaque, technically complex thing, don't worry. We're there for you, and we'll guide you. Thank you. Thank you. We have a little bit of time for two short questions. Very quickly. Thank you. Cesare from Italy. Um, how compatible um, is Playground to the more complex uh, plugins, those that do, for example, connections online, check licensing, and things of that. Uh, is there a boundary where you, you say uh, we should stay within? Uh, yes. So we are still learning that, but I can, uh, I can give you some things that I do know today. So if there is a uh, plugin that wants to, if the plugin connects to a server for a licensing check, that's absolutely fine. If the server wants to connect back to the WordPress, we are not there yet because the uh, Playground runs in your web browser. But if you run Playground as a node application in a server-side setting, that should just work. So there are, uh, there are different flavors of Playground. In the in-browser one, we are more limited by the things browsers can do. Uh, there are some things at the intersection of the de databases. So maybe if you have a very complex database query, we wouldn't be able to handle it just yet. We are working on improving that support to get to one-to-one -one feature parity, which is possible, but we need more developer hours to get to that point. Uh, which plugin uh, do you use? Like, what is your plugin? WooCommerce works uh, in there. I didn't hear the other two, I'm sorry, but I think, I think Elementor. Uh, I think Elementor, uh, like, they, had, they made one change recently that makes it also work. And one of the puzzle pieces around here is for Elementor. So I rec uh, go check it out. You may be surprised. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Last question. Hello, Alexander from Harbinger Marketing. Hey there. Thank you for the uh, great talk. I have a quick question. Are there any limitations with custom development? For example, if we need to create a custom block for uh, the site editor and the new block editor. Uh, will all features of Playground be compatible with uh, custom uh, blocks, or are there any limitations? So, when we use, like, when we uh, talk about all features, that's very hard, difficult to answer because how do you, how can you be sure about that, right? We would have to check everything. But we, there are complex blocks that work in Playground, and there's also Playground is also used as a, a pull request previewer for WooCommerce, where they work on these commerce blocks, and for Gutenberg, where they work on new uh, core blocks. And it's, uh, there are, like, sometimes there are kinks, and we fix them, but like, it works really uh, great. If you have a specific example in mind, I'm happy to talk about that. For example, if we export uh, our website to GitHub or uh, uh, somewhere else, we will we work with custom blocks. Yeah, uh, we need to wrap it up. So um, I think uh, uh, connecting after is probably the best. Uh, would you like to talk yeah, about that? Sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's, let's connect in a second. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Thank you again, Adam. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you.